Hey guys, it's Tanya. Um, I am coming back today to show you how I made this wraparound um, journal cover. Um, it is not all the way done, but I was um, creating it and I was like, you know what? Let me turn on the camera and show everybody how I did it, just in case. So this measures five, um, sorry guys, I was, I got glue, um, by eight and a half. Uh, yeah, and I guess you could put, you can use it totally as a traveler's notebook cover if you wanted to, but you don't have to. I am trying to get a jump on my spring journals, so, um, your girl is trying to be proactive. We'll see how that works out. But anyway, so this is what it looks like, and I don't know if you can see the gold stitching, um, and this is what it looks like in the inside. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I did it real, real quick. What I did was I took two pieces of cardstock. This is um, 110 pound weight, and all I did was literally just put it on there. Um, it does not really matter. I measured um, an inch and a half spine. You can totally do your spine bigger. Um, so, you guys. Three inch spines kind of intimidate me just a little bit, but I guess when I'm getting ready to create and when I'm doing the creating, I'm like, oh man, I should have made a bigger spine, but it's okay. So I always start off with one and a half inch just, just so I don't get nervous, you know? Okay, so then I took um, my paper just like this and I measured it, kind of, eyeballed it. I just want it like maybe mm, a fourth of an inch away from the spine crease. Okay, and then I'm going to take this and I am going to put a line right there. And we are going to do the exact same thing and score it the exact same way as we did the first one. An inch and a half. Okay. And you totally can skip the scoring, scoring part. You don't have to score. Um, you really don't have to score. <laughs> um, okay, and then all I did was I took it and did it like that. Okay? So that's it. You're going to just glue this piece to this piece. Um, but before we do that, we want to make a round edge. And, y'all, I... All I did was, and I'm sorry, I should have been more prepared. All I did was took, <laughs> I bought this thing. It's a circle spin and trim. It's the We Are Memory Keepers. Yeah, you can tell I don't use it. Um, so all I did was I took it like this, and I just simply rounded that like that. See, you have a round edge. And you know what you could use, too? You can use one of those. Uh, you can use a round pin, a cookie tin, whatever. You know, one of those big old things that the popcorn comes in. Or one of those um, um, things that those uh, those tins that the shortbread cookies come in. You guys know what they're blue. I don't know what they're called. But I love those cookies. But anyway, so there you go. Okay, and you have your cover, just like that. So I am going to glue this down really, really quick. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take batting uh, because I have it and I like how it makes your covers, your soft covers look. I like the... The whole, um, the squishy, the squishiness of it. I don't know. I think it, um, I don't know. It's like comfort, you know, when you're squishing it, you know, like a blanket or, you know, a teddy bear. Okay, so, got it like that. And I'm trying not, I'm, I'm trying not to be wasteful, guys, so I'm trying to. Um, when I cut it off, I'm trying to make sure that I can use a piece somewhere else, like in a tag or something like that. Um, and then we're going to cut around it. Really going to save that. And where did my thing go? Okay. 
All right, so now for the fabric. Oh, I have a lot of fabric, guys, so I already picked it out. And what I do with my fabric, see I have all these that I'm, I am want to use, but I'm not going to use. So I'm going to use the pink one first. So I picked out three that go together that are kind of similar um, color-wise. I'm trying to move my light. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about shaking the camera. Okay. Okay. So it is a little dim outside today. Okay. So I picked three. Um, I think they're pretty. Um, and they look like spring. Uh, I always do three because when I collage, three is my comfort zone. And they said that um, when I was, you know, listening to other people, they said that um, odd numbers are a better um, focal point on your eye. You know, your eyes focus on it better. So that's what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do is... And it's really easy. You can definitely take your um, shears and make like a edge around it, a decorative edge, you know. But all I'm going to do is cut a little tear in there, and I'm just going to rip. Okay, and I am going to go along this, and I'm going to bring it down so I don't waste so much. So you want some hanging over. And you're going to want some hanging over this side because you're going to be tucking it, you know, like that. So, we got this one. And then I'm just going to alternate between this one, this one, and this one. Okay, guys. So, I have all my fabric laid out how I want it to be laid out. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to take my fabric tag. Now, um, you could take... Uh, what is that? Um, double sided tape but I'm going to run it through my sewing machine and my sewing machine kind of acts janky when I put like double sided tape on it especially the carpet tape so um, I, I just I just didn't really feel like being bothered with that today so I'm just going to take my fabric tack and I'm just going to go and just kind of stick it on totally you can totally use um, what are those things? Pins. Yeah, yeah. You could to totally use pins if you want to. Um, but your girl's just not doing that. She probably should. But, uh, y'all, it, it just seems like it's just going to take so much time. And it, it, it just don't feel like it. it. This is supposed to be easy. So, that's what we're going to do. So, we're just going along and we are overlapping however you want it to overlap. Okay, guys, so this is what it looks like. Um, my camera is just really shaking on my tripod. It's like so janky, and I'm sorry, guys. So this is what it looks like, and then we're going to flip it over. And all I'm going to do is I am just going to, you know, simply fold and tuck like we normally do. And we're covering a journal. Um, and then like, so when you get to the round part, I know most of you guys probably already know this, but easy way for me to do it is I simply cut it like to the shape a little bit. I'm going to cut this to the shape, like the round shape. Okay. Like this. Mm hmm And then... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put little slits, you know, all the way around it. Not too close to that edge, but just little slits. And it makes it easier to fold over. Okay, guys, so um, don't mind the glue on my hands. But um, this is what it looks like, you know, when it's all covered. So what I'm going to do, and you can totally sew first, sew... Um, this first, um, on my last one, I sewed, like, just everything. I sewed all this down. Um, I don't necessarily know if I want to do that, but I think I'm going to because I kind of like the detail it gives, you know? So, what we're going to do is we're going to take another piece of fabric and 
Guys, this, this journal cover is a good way to use up fabric because I have a lot and I, and I keep buying it. I just, I have a problem, guys. I have a paper and fabric problem. And I just keep buying it and I'm, I'm like, I don't, you don't need that, Tanya. And my brain is like, yeah, Tanya, you need it. And I was like, no. But I end up buying it anyway. So, anyway, okay. All I'm going to do, and I know in my last, oh, look at that, guys. That's so gross. But I don't want to wipe my hands because I already know that I'm going to have to use this glue. Um, in my last one, I used uh, carpet tape. And you could totally use that in my last um, tutorial. I'm making a, a fabric journal cover, I think. Or, yeah, I think. Um, anyway, I used carpet tape because I like the way it lays the, um, the fabric down. But... My sewing machine does not like it, and it starts to skip and miss and all that jazz. So, we're going with Fabri-Tac. And I'm just trying to get it all on the edges. And now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger, and you guys already know, I'm just going to smooth it down so you don't have any um, thick lumps and stuff. And I'm sorry about the camera shaking. I didn't realize that it was shaking. I don't even know why it's... Oh, it's leaning up against my desk. Okay. Um, so, I'm sorry about that, guys. Okay, guys. So, I smeared everything, and I'm just going to take my piece of fabric, and I'm just going to lay it, like, up to the edge, like that. Okay? That out the way. And smooth it down like that okay there you go all right so I am going to take my shears you don't have to do this and I am just gonna cut around this like that so it can have that little scalloped edge okay guys I cut all around it and you can totally skip that step um, on this one, all I did was I just used my scissors and just cut, and then I did the decorative edge on that part, okay? So you totally don't have to use shears or anything like that. Um, so what I do now is I do it, I fold it like this, and you see all the pieces that are not glued down? I, take, I go back and take my glue, and I just glue them all down before I start to sew, okay? So I'm going to glue all my pieces down, and then I'm going to go... And I'm going to take my sewing machine and I am going to run stitches along, you know, the edges that I tore, like that. And then I'm going to run a stitch all the way around. And that's it. Um, yeah, that that's totally the, the cover. Real, real easy. But I'm going to show you the finished product, okay? When I get finished gluing and sewing. Okay, guys, so let me move that out the way. This is what it looks like. And so don't that look so cute? I love it. Okay, so we are going to put an eyelet right here. And you guys already know I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to eyeball it. Mm -hmm. uh, but you could totally, you could totally measure it if that's what you like. Okay, guys, so where were we? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, sorry about the shaking. Um, I cut out the hole. I'm sorry, my husband called, y'all. So, you know, and if you don't answer, they tend to keep calling back. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. And I think it looks so nice. I love the, um, the copper with the brown. Yay! Okay. At that isn't that cute and I'm going to use white uh, sorry because okay guys so I hope you like this um, really really easy right um, it wasn't too hard uh, yeah so um, I hope you guys have a have or had I don't know when I'm gonna upload this um, a very great holiday and I hope you all stay safe and God bless. Bye.